project came about after a series of discussions with the uh, Caribbean Export Development Agency, which is our main implementing partner. Uh, they were just uh, finalizing a project that was funded by the Canadians, the Trade Facilitation Office, and uh, they were seeking assistance uh, based on the success of this project to further it, uh, build it out in scope. Um, this project, the ITC project, ITC and Caribbean Export, is probably the best collaboration that we've had. What we want to do is uh, to increase the value of the product produce it in, in these islands and uh, showing the cultural background, showing the uniqueness of their techni techniques and material and raw materials. So our idea is increase the perception of these products. It's, it's part of a wider picture in terms of the creative industries as a whole and that is why we included the various collateral events you would call them with respect to the design show. Um, we are in the first day of the exhibition so I can give you my first impressions. Uh, the first impressions are very good. We have a lot of people interested in our products. More or less 50 percent of the exhibition is already sold and we have only two hours of opening. Well, I think always one is happy to know that uh, there is some um, success in uh, any endeavor that one gets involved in. And I think this is an indicator of success that at, uh, on the second day, at the beginning of the second day, over 50% um, of the products have been sold. And this is definitely a positive indication. But one of the challenges that we have recognized during the course of implementation it's the issue of um, the, the capacity to respond to the demand. I came here with many objectives. Um, some told me that maybe I should not attend if I'm not looking to sell the product. But that was just one objective. And to be honest, that wasn't a major one. I want a feedback from international players. Um, I, want to, I need to get the stuff out so that people can see it because this now sits in my studio doesn't make any sense putting it there. I need to get it out in this sort of form to let people take a look at it. Me personally, I need to get the feedback, as I said, the response, one. I'm hoping that I can link to players who can assist me now to make that next step. As I said, I think clearly, I think the product is ready to go. The response has been fantastic. Pricing now will be an issue because if you're looking to make two as opposed to make 20 dozen, you got to work out your pricing. We've sat down with our accountants and we've gone through that. It's now trying to find the players in the market that can assist. And from just being here one day, uh, we've met at least two people that can help us along to achieve that. I think that um, the show has been really good. Um, a lot of people have stepped up their game, so a lot of the products are a lot more interesting. Um, I've always liked um, even from the old CGCS days, I've always liked this forum for networking and the contacts have been great. Um, it, it, this year has been special though because there's entertainment. And, um, I've been speaking with some of the artisans who are saying that they're a lot more relaxed this time around, so everybody's happy. We've also included music. We had a huge show last night. So we're looking at the entire gamut and range that is involved in the creative industries. And so what we're hoping is to package that product and take it with us next year, possibly to London. We're still looking at the, the feasibility of that, but we're presenting a Caribbean culture. Our approach, our strategy is, try, is to try to bring to the table uh, a wide range of stakeholders, including our partner, our main partner, which is Caribbean Export uh, Development Agency. And these are some of the issues that we are going to put on the table and we are hoping that the, 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 the stakeholders that are at the table are going to be, uh, you know, uh, become involved enough to generate the type of discussions and uh, potential solutions to this. This project was supposed to be a precursor to them outlining a larger strategy for promoting the sector. And we're hoping that with some of the, the challenges that were learned from implementing this project, that they, this is going to be used in guiding them, outlining a strategy for promoting the sector and utilizing the funds under the EDF to promote the sector further. We're trying not to separate 
the artisans, from the musicians, from the filmmakers, from the dancers. You know, it, it, is, it is an entire package. And I think when you bring all the elements of that together, it just makes it an incredible experience.